given that sin x plus sin 3 sin 3x plus sin 5x equals to sin 3x 4 cos square x plus 1 we want to solve this equation over here uh, of course if i want to see the connection between two i mean the first thing i'll look out for is whether this and this are related la, and i can see that wow you know sin x sin 3x 3 sin 3x sin 5 wow seems to be given to me right so definitely i'm going to take this and copy paste using my result i'm just going to take this result here and copy paste this and write it as 4 sin 3x cosine x which is what i'm going to write in my first punch line 4 sin 3x cos x is equals to sin 3x 4 cosine square x plus 1 now definitely what i want to do is to again make one side zero all right now remember that even though they are common factors we cannot cancel them out because they might be zero right they might be zero so we cannot divide by sin 3x or so ever because sin 3x can be zero and we are dividing by zero we will be uh, so called calling an undefined uh, definition uh. sin 3x sin 3x common factor put it outside you are left with 4 cos x in the brackets minus 4 cos square x in the brackets minus 1 in the bracket okay so not too bad i mean personally i prefer to make my cosine square positive so i'm just going to multiply everything by negative 1 simply for the right hand side i do the same so i have sine 3x positive 4 cos square x minus 4 cos x plus 1 equals to 0 this is a beautiful like square algebra identity right a square minus 2ab plus b square so factorizing this just gives us a minus b bracket square equals to zero sine 3x sine 3x okay so then with that just solve sine 3x equals to zero or two cos x minus one equals to zero that gives you cos x equals to plus uh, try to square right, so two cos x minus one okay so 2 cos x minus 1 square equals to 0 cosine x can be equal to half and the cosine x is equal to half right so from here cosine square equals to half yeah so from here right then uh, i believe the answer is wrong uh, i believe the answer so let's not follow the answer then uh, your x here should in turn turn out to be 60 degrees right the, the first quarter it can't be the fourth quarter because of the limited range it's not 120 so i'm just going to skim pass through the bqra approach la. i'm going to skip the fourth quarter because it's our range so i'm just going to take the first quarter which is alpha as the answer for this side sine 3x equals to zero so 3x can be equal to zero degrees it could be equals to uh, 180 degrees it could be equal to 360 now x would be 0 it could be 60 degrees or it could be 120 degrees okay so combining these two i have my final answers all right which is just a uh, 0 60 or 120 degrees and we are done